the first type of girl that I'm going to talk about is the thought, the hoe, the slut, the whore. She's the type of girl that sleeps with so many guys, they had to make a slut page just for her. Not, not like these other pages where they expose all these other kinds of um smuts or holes, whatever you want to call, call them. They had to dedicate a page to her. She's the type of girl that you want to stay away from her. You don't want to take her home to your parents. Because she will embarrass you. She might see your brother and be like, mm, Your brother fine. Your brother's so cute. Mm, I'm going to hook up with him when you're not around. She's the type of girl that when you're not around, she's with another guy. The type of girl that probably has AIDS or HIV. Nah, she probably got super bugs. Like, she probably got blue waffles with a combination of gonorrhea, crabs. She probably got a whole combo down there. She got little, maybe some even um, roaches down there. It, you don't even want to explore her jungle. That probably got lice too and worms and, and little insects crawling in and out. That and, and it's probably rusty. She probably won't even clean it. She's the type of girl. And you can tell right away that she's a hoe. Because one, if she tells you right away, eh, even though I like you, I, I'm talking to this other guy right now because, you know, I'm trying to see who, who I like better, you or him. She's lying. She's playing you and that other guy. And she's probably playing both of you with another guy. Chances are, when she says this, she actually means, I know we're dating, but I'm not your girlfriend. So it means I could see other niggas. Yeah, so what? And this guy, I mean, I'm dating you because I like you and you're cute. But this other guy I'm dating, he has money. And this other guy I'm dating, well, he just better than both of y'all. And, you know, sex. So this is the type of girl that you don't want to take home to your parents because your parents right away will tell if she's a hoe. You know, the way she dresses. If she has shorts on lower than you know how when you put your when a girl like when I used to go to middle school they would make us if we're gonna wear shorts it cannot pass your um index finger not not your index finger your middle finger if it passed that it's too short or if it's um above your knees it's too short if she wearing a skirt um, above her knees, it's too short. If she's wearing a dress that's too tight and above her knees, that's too tight and short. She's trying to show her body, not just to you. She's trying to get attention for all these other guys, just so when the other guy try to holler at, she go home with him and not you. Yeah, so please, guys, stay away from her. The second type of girl is the lazy girl. This is the girl that expects you to do all the cooking for her the type of girl that she wants you to go to work and she wants you to bring back home the income the money so she she can go shopping she's not lazy for that she's just lazy to take responsibility because she rather have you take it uh babe can you take the trash out uh babe can you cook uh babe Go to work. I'm not gonna go to work. Babe, find a job. Because I'm not gonna find a job. Babe, can I borrow ten dollars for uh, some new lipstick I wanna buy? Babe, can I borrow three hundred dollars for this new um Louis Vuitton purse I wanna buy? Can I borrow this? Can I borrow that? Babe, can you make the bed? Babe, can you bring the breakfast for me? Like, she just wants everything. She's the type of girl that if you were to ask her to marry her, she 
would be so lazy to say yes. She would be like, mm -hmm. she would be so lazy to to even go to the altar. She would just be like, babe, let's just go to Vegas and get married. Nah, I'm too lazy for that, babe. Let's just get married here. We're married. Bam, it's done. We want to stay away from her because she wants you to do everything. She expects you to do the errands. She expects you. If you guys have kids, that's even worse because you're going to be the one up all night milking the baby. Of course, with the milk thingy. You're going to be the one changing its diaper, taking it to the school, going to the counselor or teacher conferences when the child gets in trouble. Stay away from her because she just using you. She's so lazy to to even handle her own responsibilities. She wants you to handle them for her. Unless you guys want to babysit, stay away from her. The third type of girl you want to stay away from is the messy girl. This is the type of girl that when you come into her room, she got everything on the floor she got papers all over the floor her bed's not even made you see her her clothes on the floor her panties on the floor they might even be dirty you see roaches already crawling on the floor be like babe why is there a roach in your room why you got like 10 roaches in your room babe i see a rat over there in the corner oh my god babe i just saw a freaking I don't know what kind of animal that was. That looked like a roach and a rat mixed together. Babe, you got bugs all over there. You got ants over there. She's the type of girl that litters in her own room. Chances are, if she still lives with her parents, her parents might clean her. She might make her parents clean her room. She's kind of like the lazy girl, but she's very messy. So this is the type of girl you want to stay away from because she's going to expect you to clean. Or she might, you know, disorganize your life. Like in a way that if you had your papers over here, your paper's going to be all over the place. This girl, when you walk into her room, her room looks like a tornado. When you walk into her house, you see things in the wrong places. Babe, why is uh, the toilet paper in the kitchen? Oh, because, you know, baby, sometimes I run out of napkins and I just, you know, use them to clean my hands. Why paper toilet? Because, uh, there's, you know, I'm too even lazy to go buy some paper toilet. I mean, paper towel. But, she's so messy that she does not know where to find any of her stuff. Hmm, I could have sweared my keys were over there in the pile where I left all those papers and all those gum wrappers and candy wrappers. This is the type of girl you want to stay away from because you do not want to wipe a girl that's messy. I'm not saying that girls need to do chores, household chores, because, listen, men, uh, we're not gonna be your little bitch, you know, clean after you, but you do want a neat girl, at least you know that she's neat, because, you know, to you get with a messy girl, you're gonna have, like, roaches in your house everywhere, seriously, stay away from her, the fourth girl you wanna stay away from, it's the crazy girl. And she got crazy eyes. Stay. Stay. St like, literally stay away from her. You better get a restraining order. Because this is the type of girl. If she was never a stalker before, she'll stalk you. Uh, babe, why were you following me yesterday? I saw you behind the bushes. That, that wasn't me. You're hallucinating. That was definitely an well, I'm pretty sure that was you. You were wearing that same shirt yesterday, and you were wearing your hair like that, and you your tattoo on your neck, and of course I could tell because you dress so colorful. Um, I'm I'm telling you, babe, that that was not me. That was some other chick. 
this is the type of girl that will call you like a hundred times a day, like literally a hundred times a day, with a hundred texts. Babe, where you at? Babe, 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 where you at? Babe, babe. And you're like, <sighs> you're just like that. This is the type of girl that if you argue with her, you don't want to. But if you do argue with her, she might cut you in places you don't want to be cut. She might hit you in a way a normally girl won't. Because a normal girl might like that. This girl, you get her mad, she might cut you, stab you, shoot you, bite you. She might even bite you like that guy from that Miami, that guy that was on drugs, cocaine or something, and he literally ate a hobo's face off. She might do that. And she might she might not even just eat your fish, she might eat your whole body. She's that type of girl that when you get her mad, she'll run over your house. Like, you know, your plants and stuff. She will run over your mailbox. She will find a way to kill your pets. She'll come over your house, burn it down. She might even burn you too, and then keep your ashes and be like, Bob, Bob, I can't believe we didn't work out. I really, I really can't believe we didn't work out. Bitch, you killed the man. There's just so many crazy girls out there. Stay away from them. Those are, you could tell. The signs are, and she take too much medication. She be taking those medications you never heard of them. You taking what? You you taking exenafil? Oh, uh, what's exenafil? You taking prolastic? What, what what is that? All I know is about Tylenol, Advil, ibuprofen, and stuff like that, and antibiotics. But but but, but what is that? Oxymoron, oxyphirine. What? You you take it to a weird pills, girl. You 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 crazy. If she goes to a psychiatrist, not a psychologist, a psychiatrist, she got something wrong with her. If she's ever been in a crazy house or madhouse, whatever you want to call it, those clinics, don't date her. Please don't date her. Chances are you guys have kids. You're gonna be cuckoo. Really cuckoo in the head. You don't want this type of girl. She will literally destroy your life. You don't answer one call, she'll hunt you down. I'm saying, don't do it. The fifth type of girl you want to stay away from is the ghetto girl. She is a type of girl that makes a scene everywhere. I heard you were with Letitia last night, or you were with Maria, and you, I saw you the other night with Tanya and, and Jocelyn, we're gonna, where are your hoes, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to kill them, I'm gonna kill them along with you, oh, the type of girl, she's so scandalous. She just has to make a scandal. Did you just look at me that way? Did you just look at me that Oh, nigga, you wish you did not look at me that way. I will slap the hell out of you. She, the type of girl that you do not want to take to your parents. Because if you want a decent girl. She's far from decent. She's going to be cursing in every single sentence. There might be like 10 curse words in every sentence. Babe, I don't fucking like your sister. You, you know how she treats me? She treats me like shit. She treats me like as if she better than me. Like, bitch, get out the way. You ain't shit. Fuck you. Uh, 
You have a fucking problem? Because, bitch, I could hit your ass. I'll kick your ass all the way over there and send your fucking holy ass over there. Bitch, don't start with me. Man, you you really want to start shit with me? You really want to start shit with me? Yo, bitchy ass nigga. Curse words every sentence. This is the type of girl that will steal at any store. 99 cent store. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to steal some of these pills. Yes. Babe, why are you stealing? Those pills are just a dollar. Uh, nigga, does it look like I have a dollar on me? And does it look like you have money on you? Yo, broke ass. I'm buying this. And sticking that, you know, hair clip in your pocket. Oh, and babe, those tweezers, put put them in your pocket too. Oh, yes. She's the type of girl that if she has kids, she names them. Names like Mercedes, Lexus. Bitch, you're naming your child car names or expensive things you wish you had but you can't have why don't you name your child child support why don't you name your child i need some money or i need some food stamps why why, why don't you call that you, you're putting oh i'm gonna name my daughter chanel i'm gonna name my daughter D dior i'm gonna name my my son Hmm, I should name him Louis Vuitton. Oh, my gosh. Name him child support. Name him or her. I need the food stamps for my son and daughter. Or she's a type of ghetto girl that has, like, two kids from two different baby daddies. Stay away from her because you might be the next baby daddy. And... Chances, you might not even be the baby daddy. Stay away from her because she's always looking to start a scene, as I said. She's always trying to be scandalous. She's she's trying, she will steal. She will even, you know, like I said, as I said, steal. She will claim you're the baby daddy of a child when you're not. She will name her child expensive things when that she cannot afford and she also this woman well she's not a woman she's a ghetto woman this ghetto woman will also find a way to destroy your life just like the crazy girl but in a ghetto way she is the type of girl that doesn't go to church at all I'm not going to church because of those hypocrites. I'm not going to church. I don't I, I ain't got time for that. But you got time to go watch Kim Kardashian or you have time to go watch some show or go to the spa, but you don't got time for Jesus. She's the type of girl you do not want in your life. Because if you do have her in your life, you're going to regret it. Because she's the type of girl that will literally give you a headache. As I said earlier, scandalous. If you want scandals every day, go for it. But if you don't, don't. Do it. This, tell that bitch. Bitch, this ain't the Mari show. If you want to get scandalous, I'll take your ass to the Mari show. But don't get scandalous with me. You tell her, because you don't need her. And the last girl you don't want to date, men, is the dumb girl. Why is it backwards? I can't read Hebrew. I can't read this. It's, it's backwards, or I don't know. The letters are going... Is this 
this here, bro? Babe. Turn it over. Oh, wait. How do you read another is not a dawn where Esther's keys left Frene night zip in your eyes, but there where was done glumps of gather gathering the dark will end the dark if any wing God plays himself with every leaf that flies and hell is more like than half p p p paralyzed paralyzed is I can't read I don't understand that language don't do it. Next type of girl you don't want to end. Babe, um, what's one plus one? Wait, I'll just use the calculator. Oh, it's two. What? One times one. Oh, it's one. What's one times zero? Ooh, what's eight hundred times zero? Ooh. How do you clear? How do you do that divide button? H how do you do this? I hate math. I can't do it. This is the type of girl that doesn't understand life. Sometimes doesn't know what she's doing. Sometimes confuses herself. Hey, babe. I want to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. Tell me what you got to tell me. So... I was thinking, life is like, you know, a world, and the world is like life, but how do you live a life in this world, but how do you visit that world with that life, wait, what am I saying? Gosh, I just confused myself. This is the type of girl that when she's putting on her glasses, why does it fit right? Why doesn't it fit right? Am I putting it on wrong? Maybe it goes right here. Maybe it goes right here. Maybe it goes right here. Babe, how do you put these on? Just put them on your eyes. Oh. I knew that. This is the type of girl that acts dumb everywhere. She, chances are she is dumb, but she acts dumb everywhere. Babe, when are we going to go to the store? You're at the store. Oh. Well, okay. She's the type of girl who has trouble reading. She probably even stutters when she's talking. Babe. How was your day? Did I say that sentence right? Oops. Did I I I I say say that 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 sentence right? She will give you a headache as well, dude. Don't date her. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. You need a girl that's none of these. Oh, unless you're just trying to smash. Except for the thought, because the thought, as I mentioned earlier. She probably got a. She probably got super bugs. Whatever's going around down there, that area. She probably don't even shave. No way, that's the lazy girl. She probably and the messy girl. Lazy girl might be too lazy to shave, and the messy girl just might be so messy down there. She got a, a like a flea coast, a roller coaster, 
you know, we jumping all over the place there. But don't date any of these type of girls. If you see a sign of these girls, run the other way. Run for your life. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this video. And please subscribe to my channel. And like, share this if you liked it or if you think. Uh, if you agree, and feel free to comment down, like always. Thank you guys for watching.